Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of a legendary difficulty. It's time for the B team as in batter team <coughs> to go and face an extreme level threat as we are trying to capture as much of uh, the scavenging side as possible. Uh, we're still trying to get ignore pain with little green. And I'm also wondering, do we have enough neuralizers? So little green does have Berserker as a second class, that's good. I was thinking, do we need a purification grenade? Potentially not. I think the way that he's equipped is actually totally fine. Maybe two more of these and we're good. Now moving on to Anders Sanders, who could definitely benefit from quite a few of uh, these abilities. Ready for action being the obvious choice, dash and return fire being other ones. Giving him a mount. And in terms of equipment, I am wondering if you want to use one of these pistols. I don't think that we need that, but I do think that we need that. Just extra ammunition. Tyler. Very much can benefit uh, from another mount. Doesn't necessarily need more ammunition for the sniper. We're typically okay with that. Natalia can benefit from it as well. Same deal. Specifically since we're on a mission where we want to gather stuff, so yeah, it's Little Green is one of the characters that gathers, so we better not completely pack our backpacks too full. Hexor, I mean we could give him a more accurate rifle I suppose. Sure, why not? Good, over here, Jim the Hammer Hewlett. I believe we're okay. We'll put enough uh, free storage uh, room into their backpack. Iron, on the other hand, look, we never really use that much. Just double checking. We are waiting for a higher level, actually. Just double checking the points at the moment. Iron here can take a second class and we're waiting for a second class with Kitsu and respectively the mutation of her head. She's quite overloaded. Hmm. Cumberance is a real problem. Might put out the motion detection unit. Other than that, 
she will potentially need to wait a bit longer for the next class. So, little green and uh, Jim are the ones that are gathering this time. I would say though, to be fair, let's have a third one. Enders here makes a good case for himself. Good, we're deploying. All right, so we landed. We do have two, three crates, four. Four crates, one exit here. And another exit, another couple of exits over here. So we could maybe go for that crate. Um, okay. Let's start with the obvious uh, things. Everybody needs to become friends. If we can capture an alien on top of uh, what we're anyways doing, that would be cool, but that's a plus, not a necessity. So, Jim the Hammer Ulot does have enough uh, backpack space open. What would be absolute fantastic is I'm here. if we could break through that shake. Luckily, sniper rifles are quite good in doing exactly that. Are these goo throwers? No. Jim moves up and... Oh. Ugh. And Jim reconsiders his, his life choices. Good. The second person that's capturing quite a bit is Enders. And it moves up. And I'm picking up all of the valuable things. I'll decide what we do with that mind sucker when, uh, when the time comes. Moving up. Over there. We have even further enemies. Well, fantastic. Ready to engage. Good. That at least solves our immediate problem with uh, getting mind controlled. Little green. Put himself into a not a very nice position. That's a problem. That is a problem. And the only way to solve that is killing her. Basically opening as much terrain as possible to see her and then kill her. Me 
see. Nope. I need to get all Going the way in. to here. I want a very clear shot. Willing to take some will uh, points for that. Unfortunately, not quite dead yet. All set. Tyler moves to here. <clears throat> we can try. How does that taste? Uh, still not. Oh boy. This is close. Ender moves over and no. So close. Jim further moves over, uh, moves further over here. The other Jim moves out of uh, line of sight. We're deploying that. And we're moving to the evac zone. Next turn will suck because we're already starting at a disadvantage. I think we're, we won't be able to not be mind controlled. Good. On the upside, we can capture the little worms. On the downside, they will cost us quite a bit of time. Hits, but we haven't had the chance to hit uh, her head. Okay, not as bad as it could have been. Torso is disabled, which means we need to. Uh, we would need to walk. Are we really capable of getting there? Unless we're being healed, likely not. Good, we're moving up. Grabbing whatever we can. Resources. 
There isn't even really great loot in here. down ready to roll five by five here we go Tyler moves up ready to fire Let's start with getting these guys ready, ready for capture. Fight. Well, that could have gone better. Certainly doesn't help when every single shot is missing. Yeah, we're potentially going to be mind leached uh, by that mind fragger unless of course a sniper would kill it before it reaches the target Good, little green is doing so hot after the first sniper shot. I think we need to evac uh, relatively soon. We can heal ourselves, but the lack of jump jets really starts to show. I'm hurt bad here. You know what they say, never trust the sniper. Becomes way more bloody than I would have uh, anticipated it would become. Let me take a look. Eyes peace. Lining up a shot. Eyes peel.
Okay, cool. Well. Got lucky. Attempting to acquire not a kill. Good. That's three worms acquired. Jim moves here. Providing assistance. Receives medical assistance. Moves into cover and makes sure that this guy doesn't get a full set of action. There's another sniper back here. Don't want to go into that direction. Hostile wounded. Good. He is really, really, really out of action. Can we see the guy over here? Potentially not. Which means we're just moving over here. And are overwatching. Good, next turn we're packing that and then we're packing everything. Okay, works for me. Overall, I think it was an okay turn. It's taking way longer than originally anticipated and it's all about the greed. Return fire. Okay, I think we're almost done. Everybody gets in a little frenzy. We can leave, we can leave. The question is, can everybody leave? Yes. 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 We need this. Yes. Definitely yes. Another yes. Yeah, almost. Okay, since not everybody can leave, what we're going to do is hope I'm not leaving myself exposed. We're moving the heavily wounded out.
Just as a matter of principle, I feel like needing to shoot back. Five. Identifying target. One. I just need the right angle. Two. I need a better shot next time. Um. We can freely Three. reload. Okay. One, two, yep. Good, we can continue to shoot. Overwatches. Jim moves up into full cover. One, two, three, Natalia could. It's hard to shoot. Okay. Oh, that one was already paralyzed. Stupid. Hostile still active. It is funny because we're getting a lot of worms out of uh, this. Good. End of turn. I wonder what that nanotech does. I will need to read it up. Maybe we already have nanotech weapons as well, and I'm just not aware of it. Even more little worms. Okay, a couple of things. First of all, let's get out of here. No, not yet. We'll take uh, this guy with us. Thank you. Now get out of here. One. Not a kill. Two. Got lucky. Moving up. Yes, please. What the? All right, didn't work out. Target missed. Hostile wounded, but, but active. Well, we're getting out of here. <clears throat> and we got a lot of worms. But we also took quite a beating. So we will need to regenerate. I hope there is a medical bay down here in Andar Antarctica because I did not heal everybody up before leaving. Okay. 
So, question will be, should I build a training center in Antarctica? Already mentioned it. Could be a place where we have a couple of soldiers. Yeah, just look at them. They're all beaten up. Granted, some finally got uh, their promotion with very helpful skills. Armor break is great. Close quarter evade potentially even better. So Antarctica. Research lab, living quarters. Well, doesn't have a map bay. It doesn't have a training facility. That is unfortunate. Which means in order to regain hit points, we need to fly back to South uh, Africa, uh, South America. Uh, we'll leave this here defenseless for now, is what it is. Good. Food for attack and materials, always a great option. And yeah, we're we're going to continue to move to the living crystal Research quarry. Disciples of a new sniper rifle, piercing and deals virus damage. That's a really bad weapon. Gosh, Anu doesn't have good weapons, but they do have psionics, so I guess that uh, makes up for it. By the way, one hour of flight equals approximately that. Yeah, we should be fine. In terms of putting additional pro probes out, what was my idea? I think we wanted, uh, have I? And we wanted this here, so. Can't really place them there. I could cover the remaining landmass. Down here, I mean, look, we could cover the two islands, but somehow I doubt that the developers have been so cruel as to put stuff on those islands. I tell you what, just for shits and giggles, let's do that. And that. 
Okay, cool. Well, that would include these islands. Don't think that it will really make any major difference. We're not going to find something there. But you know how it is. By the way, not even those new skins really reveal a lot. It seems we have already found everything that is to, f uh, to be found on this map. And there seems to be no water uh, bases. With these guys here at tier at seven. Let's think about it for a second. Wait, 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 wait. Tier at seven, personal, okay? That's the Delta team, if I'm not mistaken. A lot of them are at maximum level, though. And yes, it is the Delta team with the little bit unconventional mutations. So, dare I say that it would not be a waste to put you down here and protect the the South Pole. Which would mean overall, just generally speaking, um, we could use another team. I really hate to do that, but I think we could use another team just for protection. Another tier mud recruits, get them into born in the USA. Yes. Haven Info, we could get a soldier here. Oh, come on. Why is that soldier now on Helios 5? Okay, never mind. We're just grabbing these soldiers as well, and then, and then we're off. immediately starting the mission we're waiting for the second uh, part cool good um, we're going to do that right now actually so let's deploy we're definitely not going to take a rookie with us it's cool to have a level uh, two character um, that saves us some time I uh, time I suppose but we're not going to take them on a mission. Prime team is ready to deploy. Let's do some ancients. Good, we landed. Ooh, a crystal map. I like that. And we are close to the actual boss. Well, that's going to be interesting.
triplet spider drones. So before the before the boss wakes up, I just want to check that there is no one around. And of course, whenever you check whether or not there is no one around, damn right, there is someone around. Dash is up here. No one to be seen. And then we're dashing down here. Just want to make sure we're not finding enemies. Well, now we have found a couple more. Moving up. Look, always a pleasure spotting these guys out, but it's not always easy. They hide quite well. I also want to make sure that the golem is not waking up. in this direction very good we'll just keep an overwatch to here Polly places a turret and then waits inappropriate Murphy will place another turret and I think we are almost done person that's left over is Grell and we'll use her for the golem next turn okay apparently we have triggered someone from the other side of the map
field medic. We need to repair the hat because that means a lot of will points are coming back. Ranks moves up. I could have just spent spent all uh, actions to let the healer heal. Doesn't matter now. Time for some payback. Miss anyone here? No, we did not. Charging over. Move to here. Kill. Move to here. Kill. War cry. And we'll come back next turn. Because now, what we're going to do instead is adrenaline rush. And this is going to hurt. One. Two. Three. Four. Euler moves over and I think Gorilla hasn't had enough time to shoot yet. So five. Six. Dilly, by the way, thinks you should go on. Seven. Eight. Shattered Realm is of the opinion we make it nine. And ten. Cool. Oh, this is going to be fun. I think we weren't even really needing the spider drones, but okay. Now that we got them, might as well explore the other side of the map.
place down the turret. Remote control the turret. And... Wow. That's 300 damage. Not bad. End of turn. I don't think that there are many ancients left. Okay, correction. Still a couple. On that side. Oh, and I can see more I'm coming. Okay, cool. Well... We're dashing up. And now it's time to really pay him a lesson. One, two, you know what, might as well. Three. Rushing to here. Now, we are filling you up. One. Are we still hasted? Oh yeah, we are. Okay. Shadow Realm moves up. In complete surprise finds out that there are enemies. Ian moves up. And we're doing the good old trick take some time oh once you do have the weapons of the ancients things are becoming substantially less difficult one and I think we're just going back with three and four. I don't want to be caught out completely alone. Euler moves up and whilst we're at it, Drinks moves up as well. It's likely one guy somewhere. Somewhere down here. Good, Murphy moves up as well. I do have the slight feeling we will uh, need a new frenzy next turn and also no one has taken big damage so we're actually fine but you know what just in case Pauli moves up as well end of turn I talked about. It's 
footprints over. Drinks moves as well. Refills. Moving a little bit. Then jumping a lot. Then continuing to move a little bit. Oh, that was only one. I thought there might be a group of enemies. Well, I think it's fair to say we have the antediluvian runes on farm status by now. Good, more resources. And we are now getting more living crystals, which was important. So now that we have cleared all of that and there are no further things for us to do down here. Oh, what? We wanted to capture. A couple more soldiers. And then we're flying back and defending North America. The disciples of Kamal Haven is under attack. That's the problem. We'll do that mission first. We have no one nearby. And flying over would take too long. Hmm. We don't want to lose that. Haven. Huh. Okay, flying there. But how would we defend Phoenix Point? Can't defend at all. I think the bitter truth here might be that we can't do the Antediluvian runes. And instead. We'll do that and then fly immediately back. On diplomacy scale, we have Sanhydrin at supportive, but not more than that yet. Construction complete. Get a little bit more food and Haven Info. We're hiring a soldier. There you go, off to Born in the USA. Next Haven. Already traded everything. Recruit that soldier. And funnily enough, for the first time, I need more food. No, the terms are not good. We're not going to trade here. Yeah, we're, we'll, we'll need to trade for some more food, which we will do now.
how many personnel do we currently have in born in the USA? One, two, three, two, four, six, and here we do have two extras. That's eight. That is a full crew. So no point in recruiting more. Just spotted we have a few islands here. That we haven't yet gotten. Okay, cool. So let's speed that up a bit. Getting some more food. The good part about food is it's really easy to trade for. Okay, we can't waste any more time here. We need to defend that and immediately get back to Phoenix Point. So. I need to play that mission and afterwards we're going back to Phoenix Point. Unfortunately there is a Pandoran layer here as well. So in terms of opening a new outlet, what are our options? We can do South Africa, like here, Phoenix Bravo, would give us a good mystery palance. We could do Phoenix Delta to allow flying over from here to here. I think that would be the best connection. Also would repel quite a bit of mist. We could do mainland Phoenix Charlie and uh, Azerbaijan essentially forward command. Now that's Afghanistan, that's not Azerbaijan, holy. Afghanistan, to be precise, might look like uh, China more, but it's barely on the border. Could be Af Afghanistan. Um, so, yeah, those are our options. Another one would be like literally up here, build a facility and just free Greenland. I guess Denmark would be happy about that. Phoenix base up here wouldn't be bad, but to be honest, I think this one here by far. Is the best one we'll get. Uh, we need to clean it up. And that is yet another task. I tell you the prime team will have a lot of tasks to do. So that's already activated. It means we will just need to clean it up. Good. The next mission will be uh, fighting for Anu. And if you are a big fan of Anu and want to uh, mutate something, then the like button is the right uh, thing to do. You have the power to do that. Just click on it and it will mutate into a thumbs up. Thanks a lot and have a good one. Bye bye.